Check out this exclusive interview at the G-List Society with your host, Wady G, right now. Hello, listeners. I am Wady G, the creator of the G-List Society blog, and you are listening to a new episode of G-Chat, where I interview our favorite LGBT personalities over the phone. And right now, I have two exciting guests. Normally, I have one, but today is a special occasion because if you watch the Grammys, on um, this past Sunday, or um, well, for depending on when you saw it, January 2014, um, there was a big ceremony, a marriage ceremony that happened during the uh, Macklemore performance, and two or one set of the couples were there, and it just uh, it blew it just blew me away once I found out who they were. And then uh, when I featured them on the blog, I mean, you guys, like, showed a lot of love to this couple. And and they are Octavius Terry and Jamal Sims. Hello, guys. Hey. Hey, everybody. Hey. What's happening? Everything is great. I want to say congratulations now that I'm speaking to you. Oh, thank and you. I'm, and I'm sure you're getting them everywhere. Um, okay, so now going forward, uh, you know, talking with you the day before you're heading off to your honeymoon. Um, but, I mean, do you care to talk about it, or that's just, you know, hush up no, until no, you no. get back? No, 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 please, yeah, no, we, we, we're here to talk. Because you never know. You might have some new fans and be like, oh, my God, no, no, no. No, but then they would have to go and get a passport. <laughs> you know what? No, no, no. That's, that's no. The, yeah. And, you know, and, and the people who follow Jamal and I both on Instagram, you know, that's, that's mm-hmm. been my tagline since the beginning. Like I always say, like, always be inspired because I'm from Atlanta. Just like Jason, I'm originally born from Atlanta, and I was born, you know, to a mother and father that loved me when I was born in projects, and I just, my thing is that, um, one one thing about me is that I've been a professional athlete, I've been a musician, and you know now you know a designer. But I just want people to be inspired that just because you're gay and black doesn't mean you could you should limit yourself to anything. Like even me being, I've been on the '95 and '97 World Championship team, which another thing is that most of my USA teammates have called me and sent messages and said, "Hey, Artemis, we love you. You still aspire to that to this day." which is one of my biggest fears as a professional athlete. So even us going to Brazil, you know, we've been telling people, oh, we're going to Brazil because we want young black gay kids or young gay kids in general to be, you know, inspired to do everything that, we, that we're that we doing. Jamal is a, a world-renowned choreographer and director. And one of the email messages that we got actually that made us feel like we should be able to say and show where we're going so people can be inspired we had a we had an email from a young gay girl that just said, um, you know, we're she's so happy that we're giving a voice to people whose whose voice is sometimes not even heard or shut down because they count you out because you're gay and black. And now, you know, these kids see us traveling to Brazil, that we're married, you know, that we have families, that we have careers, that we have people that genuinely love us, that are straight, gay, white, black. And we just want to inspire people. So us telling you what our, our vacation is, we do not care. We just we use that as something that people can inspire to and they, too, can one day or dream and say that, you know, it's possible, it's tangible, you know. Right. So, I mean, that's why, that's why I want to wish you the best of luck and um, also safe travels going out there and stuff because, I mean, Right now, I'm kind of a little bit speechless just because I love talking about love, especially when it comes to our men of color. And uh, because we don't see as many images as we said throughout this conversation, and I'm just, like, really happy for you guys.